Hello everyone. Well, are you guys ready for part two of the 100 video special? I know I am. Let's get started. Today, our runner-up in second place, we're going to review a family movie, Hook. Yep. Brilliant fantasy story. Directed by Steven Spielberg. And this movie is produced by Ablin Entertainment. Uh, yeah. And it's released by TriStar Pictures. Best movie yet. And begins with Peter Banning, a successful cooperative lawyer whose relationship with his family, especially two young children, Jack and Maggie, is strained by the continuous absence and broken promises. His wife, Maura, struggles to keep them together and growing frustration with Peter for his callous behavior. The family flee to London to visit Maura's grandmother, who helped Peter find a family when he was a young orphan. Upon arrival, they meet an old man who has lost his marbles. When his first orphan, Peter, Moore, and Wendy attend a ceremony for the expansion of Wendy's orphanage. While they are out, his children are kidnapped with a dagger bearing a note signed by Jazz Cook Captain. Flung into their bedroom, Wendy tells Peter that in fact he is, in fact, Peter Pan, and that his old enemy has returned to take in his children for revenge, but failed to remember anything. Tinkerbell, played by Julia Roberts, appears before Peter that night, knock him unconscious, and flees him to a pirate port in Neverland. There, he wakens in disbelief and discovered by Captain Hook and his second command, who threatened the children unless he accept Hook's challenge to a duel. Tinker Bear intervenes and then granted three days in which prepare, I mean, prepare him for it. The lost boy is now led by Peter successor, Ruffio, at first dismiss him as an old man who has no hope of regaining his former glory, but he began to learn the magic of Neverland. Meanwhile, Hook used Jack's frustration over his father continuing his broken promise to steal his affection. I mean, affection, affection. Peter is heartbroken when he sees Hook training Jack like a son and becomes determined to win his family back. He finally remembered his past and learned how to fly by recalling his happy thought. Being a father, Peter regains the leadership of the lost boy and then challenged Hook and his pirates in an all-battle. Peter regained Jack's love and saved Maggie, but during the fight, Ruffalo is killed by Hook. Peter and Hook engage in a climax war fight. Hook is apparently killed when a crocodile... Now, a massive clock tower falls on him. Peter returns home with Jack and Maggie and designated the large number of the lost boy, Thud Butt. The only other lost boy besides Ruffalo to whom Peter developed a connection as a leader of the lost boy in his absence, Peter tells I mean, also tells all the lost boys to take care of everybody smaller than them. Returning home, Peter finally realized that the love as has for his family and the importance of having a youthful heart. Toodles, a former lost boy, is dismayed at missing adventure, but discovered pixie, I mean, pixel dust in a dust bag of lost marbles and use it to go fly around London and back to Neverland. Wendy remarks 
to Peter that his ventures are now over, but Peter say to live, it will be a great venture as well. Yep. Great. This is the best movie, The Family. And I enjoy this movie. It's fantastic. Did you know when this movie in early 1980, when Spielberg was de developed a movie for Walt Disney Pictures, it was to closely follow the storyline of the 1924 silence film and the 1953. He also considering director Peter Pan musical with Michael Jackson, but in the lead. Unfortunately, the project was taken to Paramount Picture, where James V. Hart was first wrote the script, with Dustin Hoffman already cast as Captain Hook. That's when, when pre-production began for Peter Pan in 1985 at the soundstage in England. Unfortunately, it was folded. Yep, it was folded in 1985. It did not release until 1991. That's what they said. The project was abandoned. And the script director, Nicholas Castle, and TriStar Picture before Spielberg decided to direct in 1989. This entire scene was filmed entirely on soundstage. Yep. It receives negative critics. Anyway, it was successful of 300 million worldwide. It was nominated for multiple categories. Yep. This is a great reception. Even though did not share the salary for the film of the deal. However, Roger Ebert wrote that the failure of Hook was the inevitable reimagination of the stories. Anyway... Well, here's a VHS itself with the spine, the top, and the back. Yep, great movie. Get ready for the adventure. Steven Spielberg has scored another triumph. Jane Shalit, The Today Show, NBC TV. And Gary Franklin from KABC TV. A film that will enter generation, generation from now. Here's a tape with the sticker label and no print date. And yes, it does have the original 1991 Columbia TriStar pictures at the beginning. Well, that's it for this video special. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is the new time travel, Jaime88, saying so long.